I feel so small right now. Jesus Christ. I know, he's got his fucking, got his fucking so tall. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good morning guys, Bradley Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 24th of September and today is the day of the Arnold Expo. Lens a bit dirty. We've came to my dad's for the weekend in Redditch, which is only a 25 minute drive from the NEC, which is where the Arnold is held. A perfect excuse to come up north, see family, stay with dad for the weekend, see my dad, see my nan. But unfortunately, on the journey down here, something very, very unfortunate happened. We got the Beamer back. Bonnie is fully repaired. Geordie has actually got sideswiped by a lorry. Wheel has been completely repaired. The whole front bumper has been completely replaced. But then, last night, some guy decided to pull out on me and Geordie, the other side is completely destroyed. <laughs> I can't even begin to explain the annoyance that it took to get this car fixed from when Geordie got sideswiped. We got it back for one day. I picked the car up from the garage the day before yesterday, fully repaired, was taking pictures of it, sent it to dad. And I was like, dad, it's finally repaired. It took two and a half months, but we're here. And then it happened again. Nobody was injured. I was definitely shook up after it. Me and Geordie have never been in an accident together. Some guy who was like delivering pizzas, like, please guys, don't go on your phone and drive because I'm pretty sure he was like checking his directions to like deliver some pizza or something. And he pulled out just wasn't looking and there was literally nothing we could do i literally broke so hard i felt like i put my foot in the ground geordie's safe i'm safe we're gonna try to get this fixed again it is drivable because right now we're actually heading to the airport to pick somebody up for today <laughs> It felt so good to drive this car on the way down to Birmingham because it did take so long to actually repair. By the way, the reason my voice is kind of screwed up is because when it actually happened, I was so like, I was feeling so many emotions. I felt like I let out all the emotions that I kept deep inside on prep. I was scared for Geordie. I felt like if, if something bad happened and I was driving, I just felt like all these horrible thoughts. And I just sat here and I just screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Like I just, not screamed, but I like shouted, tensed my throat and I, now I have like a bad throat, which is fantastic because we're going to the Arnold and we're gonna meet so many of you guys. So hopefully by the end of the day, we still have a voice left. <laughs> Just pulled up at the airport. Where is the door? I'm very excited about this, by the way, because I haven't seen this guy in a very long time. And he's someone pretty special. I don't know if you saw the intro to my entire shredding series. Well, the guy I'm meeting happened to create that entire thing. What's going on? What the fuck is up, man? You skinny bastard. <laughs> you big IMDb pro motherfucker looking ass. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Good, bro. You're an IMDb pro now, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you gotta greet me like that every time. I know, yeah, bro. Every day I'm gonna fucking see him really like, ah, IMDb pro. <laughs> I'd ask you if you wanted to put your bag in the back but you don't really have one i don't really have one Nabil this is the most spontaneous trip i've ever done i think nabil's here for one day and it's literally just to hang out record at what happens at the arnold and just have a sick time for just 24 hours just here for vibes <laughs> look at the front as if it's been fixed for a day oh dog no bro my bmw heart is like in pain right yeah right now. no way I'm a broken man. I decided to like turn so my driver's side hit the car so Geordie didn't, which is why the side got him damaged. Let's go, let's go. We just popped to Tesco to get myself a one blade because basically like when me and my brother went to Austria, I left my toiletry bag in his suitcase and it contained every toiletry that I need for life. He sent it me first class and it seems to got lost in the mail. So I have no, nothing but a toilet brush and a one blade is something that I use all the time for my hairy chest that has grown back very, very quick. I've been itching my chest all day. So we basically just went to Tesco to buy this and pack a chicken <laughs> and so the bill can get some breakfast. I'm gonna charge this, shave my chest, meal prep and then get ready for the expo. Bro, your biceps look fucking humongous in this. Oh my god. Can I just quickly say that this is by far, I saw the photos. The thing was that you were one day out or some shit like that. The fucking craziest, most insane you've ever looked. Thanks, man. That was fucking scary though. Turns out this actually has enough charge and there's no actual, there's no electricity left in the house because we've, we have a charging station down here. <laughs> we are preparing for the expo, so we've got all the batteries, we've got the drone in case we want to get any drone shots. We've got the mics and everything all set so we can actually like have conversations with people and the bill can be from afar and actually like listen to what we're saying and not just be like, because expos are very loud. There's no way this mic is going to pick up any sounds. So we've got those. The most 
most nostalgic thing about coming back to my dad's house always, or one of them, is being in this freaking box room. I would like keep my things. I actually remember a time where I had like a little like clothes horse because I didn't have any space for anything. And I would always look at this thing right here as like one of the best memories of like my entire like, I guess like beginning on YouTube. Because I was like, I was 22 because this was the year that I competed at the Body Power Show in my first ever classic show. I'd never competed in classic before. Seven weeks out. I remember because I actually cheated on my diet. <laughs> I remember We this. were getting pizza, sushi. Yeah. I was seven weeks out and just like didn't have any sort of prep mentality. We still actually won the show, which is fantastic. One for you, man. You took this picture. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is the first ever like alpha. We got Rob, Ali, Christian, Gabby. F oh, everyone's there. This is like the OG days. The Beal, right behind me, he's gonna be taking the majority of the photos. I love God. I'm ready. So fresh. So fresh. ZP came down to shoot some content. Me and Brandon are gonna make a bet and bowl. Front double. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You always look fresh. <laughs> so when I obviously come back to my dad's house and I see this, I'm like, wow, life's been pretty freaking cool the past few years. Now it's uh, <laughs> I shaved my chest real good there. <laughs> A lot bigger now. I've been going gym for like three more years. Bro, I've that's just insane. got a pro card. If I wasn't bigger, I'd... <laughs> <laughs> Christian's <Yeah>. bald. <sighs> I'm like relatively like not compositioning. I'm, I'm basically just like not fat but full. In a moment, could you shave my back? Yes. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> There's probably enough footage of this, I think. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you just do like the trap. Nabil, do you want to come to England to shave my back? <laughs> you don't have to fucking tell me twice. I can now say I've shaved the back of an IV pro. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Alright, so now we are back downstairs after shaving the chest, the back, and now we're about to start doing the secondary most important thing to being cleanly shaven is meal prepping the food for today. So we're gonna prep all the food. There are gonna be like probably like treats and snacks and protein bars and things to like try there, but obviously we are on plan pretty much every single day. I do get my first off plan meal tonight though, maybe a Burger. It's gonna be nice because I haven't actually had anything off plan now for the past four days. Feels like I'm back on prep. You're ready for some sick beer, bro. My fucking tomatoes. I literally went to Tesco, bought all this shit. I don't know where any of my stuff is because Jordy just put it random places. about not being able to meal prep when you can do it in like a, such a rough circumstance. It doesn't have to fucking look beautiful. It would be crazy, but you can eat meals no matter what. There's actually no excuse. All the smoke. It's too high in this kitchen. You can't stand the heat. <laughs> We got back shaving, rice cooking, egg cracking, fucking testosterone. <laughs> I'm actually jab free. I haven't jabbed in two weeks now. Really? Because like, you know all the inflammation? Yeah. We had to like decrease it by not being at risk of the same thing happening again. So why the body kind of stabilized. We completely took jabs out. Orals have been in because we're tapering off the prep stack. So I'm feeling like a nice, lean, natty version of myself. <laughs> So right here, we're gonna have the new and improved pro card cookie because considering the calories are high now, there's two things that we add to it that make it tasty and that much better. We've got 100 grams of oats with 20 grams of protein, a little bit of water, make it into like a paste. We're gonna add 100 grams of frozen blueberries, the part that makes it nice. Got a whole squares bar and 15 grams of peanut butter. I fantasized about doing this on prep and now we're off, we can do it. Just take it out of the packet, break off like little chunks. And then every now and again, when you bite the cookie, you get a chunk of a uh, squares bar. It's an absolute dream to someone has been fantasizing about doing things like this. I'm two weeks post show, my appetite is exactly where it needs to be. <laughs> Dude, even that looks fucking incredible. 15 grams, right there. You mix it all up. Grab the lifting straps. Honest opinion, like fully honest. It feels hot. You know what it feels good, you know? Yeah. Come on, are you kidding me? I know. I have to be pro type shit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be bugging you the whole day with this. Anyway. It's sick, I'm proud of you though. Thanks man. Like, that's why. 
We are ready. It's actually the first expo since last year. The last expo that I went to was actually the Arnold. And last time we went there, it was literally like those there, there used to be body power in Birmingham and that was good but the Arnold was like it just trumped it and we're gonna go again now it's just gonna be nice because like so many people are there that we know like Callum's there Loki's there so it's gonna be a big collection of everyone together there's gonna be a crazy show we're gonna be able to see that too yeah it's gonna be a good time yeah. let's do it fifth of the day inspired by Alfleet varsity collection and if you want to pick anything up from Alfleet you can use code hardbody it will support me and you'll save 10% Ow. or you can use code Nabil <laughs> I don't know how in focus that was <laughs> oh look at that it's the front of my car Anybody want a license plate? Oh my gosh. Some weighted dips. Such a fitness car. I was lucky. Got a horseshoe up your ass. We fucking crashed and left injury free. That's kind We're of very fortunate. Very lucky. Every little thing you do, it gets me thinking. Buy another shot, you got me drinking. We just pulled up the furthest away parking spot ever because every freaking parking bay at the NEC, by the way, by the way, this is a massive expo, is completely full. So this is gonna be a very, very busy day. Like let's go! Yeah, yeah. We've literally got in like 5,000 steps trying to find the entrance. Jordy, hello. <laughs> is that Nabil? Yeah, Nabil. Yeah. Hello, mate. Big oh, fan. Good to meet you. Have a good day. Good See you later. Nabil, is that you? It's called being famous. Nabil, is that you? It is I. Cookie. We're having a chat, really. I gotta hit the macros, so no matter where I went, you gotta get it in. <laughs> so we dropping in like three weeks. <laughs> Great to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely. 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 We can't wreck them, mate. We can't wreck the shoes. There we go, mate. Is it right there? Absolutely. Sorry. I'd love to sign it. We watched the YouTube channel for ages. Thank you, man. Thank you, mate. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. Looking Sorry. pretty jacked. <laughs> Thank you. Seeing real talking to you. You got great shape. Just yeah, yeah. go for it, man. Seriously. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's whatever you feel like you aspire to be. Like whenever like you watch people compete and everything from, it's whatever you feel like you fit into yourself. You gotta go where your heart takes you in a way. You're gonna get your pro card then. I'm gonna go try to get it. You got this. You got this. You got this. Thank you. You're so sweet. Be easy on yourself and just just enjoy it. That road to pro. That intro you're making. We're gonna make a big transformation video. It literally makes me emotional as well. Me too. Quick little bathroom break. Ran literally through the entire expo. This has literally been insane. Like I have no words for what's happening right now. We've met so many people and it's been so amazing. Hello. Oh, we Good to see you. Good to see you, bro. We love you. Yeah, honestly, it's like wild. So like, thank you so much. If anyone's watching this video that like obviously came and said what's up, this day has been freaking surreal. My voice is actually going already. We've only been here for like two and a half hours, but the fact that this expo is like 20 minutes from my house, like this is in my back garden. You got even leaner. I literally yeah, don't understand. Why is it that every time I see Lewis, I feel fat again? Like, no, no, not anymore. <laughs> We've done a thing. Sorry, Callum. I just burnt 10,000 calories talking, so. That was uh, wonderful. I'm exhausted, bro. Like, <laughs> you must be freaking wrecked right now. Mad experience. That was the best. That was what, that was the best expo experience of my entire freaking life. Honestly, all I can say is thank you. Just thank you. Got the hard buddy. Oh, yeah, bro. You be representing, you know. Look at this, man. We got CJ, we got CJ. How you doing, man? This is what it's all about. Just like meeting people, seeing people, seeing friendly faces, seeing people that you know, seeing people representing hard buddy like all over the world. Like, I literally signed. So many freaking hard body lever belts today. It was just like seeing the company grow, seeing people wear the t-shirts, bringing the knee sleeves, bringing all the belts and stuff, just like believing in this thing that I've created and just like coming off the back of prep and everything, like me and everyone, all the congratulations. I just feel like I'm living a dream. 
we just pulled up. Now we're gonna get absolutely saucy. We're parked outside an Esso, which is, well, Emporium's right behind. It's very nostalgic, like, because I actually used to come here all the time, many, many years ago, and we're back. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Got 30 seconds to Babe, you're never gonna guess who I've just met. What's up? Can you believe it? First show tomorrow, and I meet you. Yes, yeah, All right, I'm gonna go, babe, one sec. Thank you very much. Hi, you okay? Good to see you again. You've been at Arnold's all day? And we are back in Redditch. Now, was meant to go for dinner with my dad and everyone, but it turned out it was a little bit too late. Today was honestly so freaking hectic with the expo and everything. Going to Emporium, meeting incredible people there and actually smashing out. Look, I actually had a really, really good shoulder workout. To end the video, to end a sick day, we've come to the only place. Nabil has eaten a pack of chicken all day, considering the fact that it is my off-plan night. And we've come to the only place that I really want to do it. In Redditch, it's called Mr. Prep. If you are ever in the Birmingham slash Redditch area, they mainly do like Uber Eats, delivery. You can order them online. They've got Mr. Prep healthy food. They got Mr. Prep cheats and we are here for Mr. Prep cheats. It's all cooked within the kitchen. We're going to record how it's made and show you the good stuff that we're ordering. I'm just showing the bill our fantastic menu and he's in awe at the moment. I'm literally fucking drooling and I'm like trying to, I'm tapping everything. <laughs> Dude. I'm losing my shit right now. <laughs> Your bill my, is about 300 quid at the moment. <laughs> we paid the money. We can't back out now. Because of Nabil, we have ordered a disgusting amount of stuff. I'm pretty sure there's loaded fries, couple burgers, meet me in the middle, whatever it is. I don't know. It's just got a lot of stuff in it. And then to finish off, we have a waffle, cookie, donut, mess, biscoff, we're topped with strawberries. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right, literally. Yeah. Or, or don't do it at all. So, Are you ready? Absolutely not, and I'm excited for this. <laughs> Energetically fly, no wonder why that's just my attitude. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? A little bit more, just a bit more. Oh my. <laughs> you know the best thing about staying on plan all the time is actually being able to enjoy food like this like once a week and because you're not going in all the time because you're not sending it every day as I probably could but we're living like a pro now we're doing it right so we're gonna enjoy this right now me and Nabil are gonna be in a food coma later on but it's fine because we worked all day we had a great day we're gonna end off the right way too and that guys is a wrap on the video Nabil is salivating behind me. We're going to enjoy this incredible food right now. It's been an absolutely incredible day. I'm glad you could come along for the ride. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like, do me a favor, turn on notifications, subscribe if you haven't already. Code Harbody at the Alphalete checkout and the huge supplements checkout to Harbody store down in the description down below. What an absolutely just mind boggling day. I've actually got no words. Like usually I'd like sit down right now and like give this like big speech about how today went, but I don't, I feel like I don't even need to. I feel like you guys can tell what today meant to me. 
especially being from Birmingham and like having this on my back doorstep and having the result and the reaction of today and stuff. It's just, we've been able to share it with like Nabil, a last minute trip, just like we decided yesterday for him to come to the UK. Got the chance to spend a fucking sick day with him and share it with my girlfriend. Um, wild. Well, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.